ways to camp when, you know, setting up those walls. You know, Gyro and Laser aren't as effective when it comes to dealing with that sort of playstyle. So, let's see. Yeah, let's see how it plays out. Game number one. Zane just going to be dashing up, gunning up, looking for this opening. A little bit too close to God, but now all of a sudden, they're going to be stuck in disadvantage. Dill setting up a phenomenal juggle, just catching all of these landings. Really good stuff, really good damage. Yeah, I'm, in I'm honestly interested what the opening gambit was there for Zane. You know, just kind of running up on Dill instead of, you know, trying to start the Steve gameplay of setting up resources and Zane's going to be catching a zero to death for their troubles. Honestly, this is how all Steve matches open up. Steve's get bodied just a little teeny tiny bit and then you know what? They get in there, they're able to do just copious, copious amounts of damage. Steve ages like wine throughout the set, but right about now, still just looking like an unfermented grape. Dill just applying so much pressure and actually SDIing out of the up tilt correctly. Yep, and Dill is going to be going uh, for the other side of the stage, not wanting to worry about Zane's uh, edge guarding at all right now, and getting a gyro starter. Right. Okay, yeah, finally, Steve Cabo, 63% and counting. Really, really good stuff for Zane there, but now she's just going to be looking for this next big opening. Dashing up down tilt, not going to be able to get it, and now, like, we're starting to see, like, Zane approach a little bit more confidently. Yeah, and right there, setting up that dirt wall. Like we said before, Rob doesn't quite have the tools to deal with it. You know, being that big body, going to be running into them and just not having the hitboxes to poke through. Mm -hmm. Oh! I don't think Zane wanted to anvil on top of the platform yeah. right there. That was super unfortunate. But you know what? Up smash, not going to be able to kill quite yet. Going to be looking for this landing catch. I love that. A side beat to be able to like cover the ground and then maybe back to the jump. But then Zane, she just was not close enough to be able to get that to connect. Building up a couple of blocks here. Going to be mining quite a bit. Now just slowing down the pace of the match. And again, keeps on going through the same option. Dill is responding by full hopping and double jumping instead of, you know, short hopping into, into Steve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, the way that Zane has been playing, it feels like once Zane gets their, like, resource session done, they really have just been coming in with buttons yep. and just running into Dill's, you know, Dill's buttons of her own. Okay, setting up a bit of a wall once again. Zane just like, you know what, I don't think I could push the situation too much, so I'm just gonna get as many resources as I can. But just keeps on getting all of these one-off hits, block preventing any high recovery attempts. Good gyro as coverage, and again, just Zane just called out in the mid-range over and over. Oh, just barely not able to get this that, uh, down air. Good mash there by Zane to avoid mm -hmm. a potential game-winning situation there for Dill, but Zane has got to find something so far. Still three stocks on Dill. Zane's resource meter looking pretty low, but there we did hear the ding of the diamond. To see if they'll even get a chance to set it up. Yeah, not going to be able to get the grab. Really good spot dodge, but oh, one. is that going to be it? Yes, yeah, it will absolutely. be, especially with a bit of age. Wow. That was, that was yeah. just all, all Dill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Zane was just not able to start the Steve game plan. You know, like you were saying about the, the Steve gameplay aging throughout the match, Zane just did not get that time. It, yep. it felt like, you know, once Zane started to get those resources, um, they just weren't able to do anything with them. It felt like they were trying to run in and push Dill away to make space so that Zane could start crafting, but just not finding the time to do so. There also was just like a tale of like two advantage states. Dill, she was just like able to get like so many big hits, able to reposition set up juggles. Zane had the great idea a lot of the time, but then like dro slightly <laughs> dropped them. <laughs> that killed my train of thought completely. Uh, yeah, like, like you know, we saw, like, setting up with Minecart, trying to cover, like, a jump with the back here, wasn't able to get it. You know, mm -hmm. like, that kind of thing. So, uh, they just have to, like, slightly tighten up the spacing uh, mm -hmm. going into game two. Yep. All right. I love the way that Zane grabbed the gyro there and, you know, threw it away so that, uh, you know, getting rid of one of Dill's options to yeah. really threaten the way that Zane... Uh, starts getting resources. All right, trying to use some some dirt blocks right there to catch Dill going high, as she often loves to do. Okay. Yeah, but you know what? Zane already just a phenomenal lead. Up tilt into forward, really good stage control at this point. Backing off, Iron Tools on deck as well. This is a phenomenal start for Zane. Just backing off, giving up all the space. But I gotta say, Dill's gyro angles have been so solid. 
Absolutely. Just barely getting over those two dirt blocks. Great catch with the grab. Yeah, really good catch on the goal. That dash in would have also like caught like a neutral. Uh, just like Dill standing in place, I mean. Um, okay, goes through the foil. Backs off. The lingering hitbox. He's not spot dodging through any of that. Yep. All right. I like the use of the uppy to make it back to center stage right now. Zane looking to box a little bit with Dill. Get that gyro out of here. No thank you. Yeah. Oh, oh I, I no. love the idea. That would have been so good. But unfortunately, out of Island and Steve's live and die by that Island. Could it be trying to go something, trying to do something. But no air dodge like that. You, you're just in such a vulnerable position. Yeah, I think Zane was trying to stall off stage a little bit, but uh, stalled a little bit too much and gave Dill yep. free space to do that arm rotor. Okay, just backing off a little bit, able to get some more blocks up, just setting up all these walls. But again, as a result of that, Dill is able to get back onto the stage consistently, right? Zane, she's never able to set up too many ledge traps, too many edge guards. Uh, but that's so difficult to do against Rob to begin with. Yeah. Another resource session right there. All right. Zane has, Zane's been throwing out a lot of uh, grabs in this match. All right, there we go. You Fine. know, I thought for a second that block was going to do a little something funny. I was like, this yeah. could go like, really poorly for Zane at this moment. Yeah. Uh, but luckily it didn't. She was able to get the stock off, and now all of a sudden, you know, one good up to one good jab, that's all that it's going to take to even this up. Mm hmm Yeah. See if Zane can find it though. I feel like Zane just really hasn't been finding a lot of these explosive combo starters that we've been you know, used to seeing from Steve. Hey, okay, gonna be looking for that up tilt. Oh my goodness, the Ow. up smash hitbox, the horizontal one didn't connect. Just gonna be eating it back here, but I have seen Zane make these comebacks and so much more. Yeah, but not a lot of resources in the tank, just a little bit of iron, but that is <gasps> enough to get a good 52% on Dill right there. Yeah, definitely nothing to sneeze at at all. Immediate jump uh, neutrally. Okay, just backing off a little bit, just holding the ground, and then Rob just able to successfully jump over. There is like a certain verticality to Rob that is so difficult to match sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, especially the way that Dill plays. Dill loves going you know, super high on recoveries. Uh, yeah. Getting another uh -oh, uh -oh. start right there. Zane was so afraid of the side B. Dill just backing off. They're not going to be committing it to at that time. Tries to go for the down tilt F smash. Doesn't find it that time around. Ooh, and again, that great gyro angle just barely skirting under that block. Great parry on the back air right there. Zane still not able to find any combo starters and still just wood tools in hand. Yeah, that back almost came in before the side B. Zane, though, able to get that hit. Phenomenal parry. Okay, up throw just to maybe set up a bit of a juggle. It would just at least give themselves time to get Diamond on deck. That's the jump call out. And now it's 70% with Diamond Tools. Doable. It's an even game. Yeah, absolutely. Ready? Ready? Oh, Dill just going to be backing off, not okay. wanting any of that sauce. Mm -hmm. And once again, going high, but falls right into the loving arms of the up tilt. That gyro was so clutch. That gyro was so, so clutch. Zane just able to use Dill's own tools against her, setting up the sledge trap. Okay, not going to be able to get those back -ups, but I love the idea nonetheless. Zane just had to threaten with buttons right there. The resource meter was absolutely empty, so not able to set up anything too tricky. Dill mm -hmm. able to get another lease of life on this last stock. Able to get back to stage. Oh, oh, a little bit too much there happening to even like properly begin to unpack that. Uh, but now setting up a bit of a ledge trap once again. Tries to go for the punish on the jump, but doing it a little bit too soon. Now you're stuck off stage. I believe with no double jump, you have to go for that up B. <gasps> oh, just barely. Oh, that was so good. That was so good because you can neutral get up that F if they like get low enough. All right, Dill off stage again. And Zane able to refresh those diamond tools. Not really. No reason to save it. Just, you know, get those diamond tools out as fast as you can. Okay, just stalling the landing as long as you can. Now going to be dashing and shielding, dashing and shielding. Dill going to be looking through this next opening, jabbing, and goes through the up throw. Good DI is keeping Dill alive. Mm -hmm. Same oh. Just comes down with the forward air. Hmm. What happened? I'm not, I'm not sure, like, why, like, Zane just sit there, just, like, stood there and took the hit. Oh, uh, let's see. So, it gets hit by the neutral air. Nothing! There is, like, as far as I know, as far as my eye can see, there is genuinely, like, nothing that was there, pressed. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Wait. 
That's an anvil, I think. I think that's an anvil attempt. No, the anvil would have stalled you at this point. No, but they have no resources. Oh, is this all just the end lag of... No. No shot. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know... So, 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 so we're we seeing Stevia? Yeah, because they... The, like... They're looking down. They're looking down. What you looking down. down at? There's no anvil there. Yeah, perhaps you like that. was a really good call. I didn't know. I didn't know the animation was just like that subtle though. I, that is literally just that's like a guess. A, <laughs> just like just like a slight head tilt. Yeah, because I don't think that's like supposed to happen. I wouldn't be able to tell you though. I don't know. That's like the struggle sometimes. I feel like with characters like Steve and like mm -hmm. Game and Watch, where it's because of the way that they're like even like physically animated it's so difficult to discern what is doing nothing startup lag the move itself and mm -hmm. what is end lag have you seen game and watch dash attack <laughs> <laughs> look this this hitbox is active one frame later this isn't active anymore but it's still out there because there is nothing else happening so i guess it's like a similar concept with like steven game and watch there's yeah. not a lot of limbs not at, a lot of details i will say at the very least game and watch has like key frames you know whereas steve is just like Roughly six axes of rotation, and that's the whole animation yeah. suite. Couple of like rotational voxel movements. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for listening to us talk about video games. We're gonna be switching off to a couple of different casters for the rest of top eight. Um, so in the meantime, of course, if you haven't done so already, you should follow my lovely, incredible co-caster, Force Armor at FCG Koopa on Twitter. And please also follow the lovely Darum, who I believe. Uh, you just uh, got accepted for the Why Do Bad Things Happen to Good People? I you did, be... yeah. That's going to be happening this Saturday. It's going to be really, really yeah. exciting event. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a good and goofy time. So, you know, remember the last bad things happening to good people? It was it was quite a storm. So if you want to listen to it again, it's going to be happening this Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern time, something like that. But yeah, guys, thank you so much. We're going to be back in just a couple of minutes. So stay tuned. Stay tuned.